Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Today I have a video talking about the new update on Reddit Online. I was really hoping that after this new update came out, I would be here on this video telling you guys how great it was, but it's not. This update not only lacks content, but it creates new problems as well. This update actually does more harm than good to the game. Let me explain. If we look at the trailer for this new update, it's misleading. If you watch this trailer for the first time, you are under the assumption that the new update has new missions. But these cutscenes are not new missions. They are the same missions, just put into a new trailer. When I watched it the first time, I thought they were new missions, but then I realized it's the same cutscenes from the older missions put into a new trailer. Now taking a look at the update itself, let's start out taking a look at the new clothing section. There have been new clothes added, but we also have the new emotes, which are very expensive. Some can be $300, and others, they're locked only behind gold bars. One emote is 13 gold bars. 13 gold bars for an emote, really? We have new clothes which is nice, but if you take a look at the catalog, many of them say coming soon. I was confused by what this meant, and then I realized it's drip fed. That's right, they are drip feeding clothes. I did not think it could get worse than the Arena Wars DLC in GTA Online where they had trade prices on clothing, but now we are getting clothes drip fed to us. The newest gun added is the rare shotgun. I really wanted to purchase the Evans repeater, but it's drip fed. That's right, it will be drip fed over the next few weeks. The rare shotgun instead is the exact same thing as a dull barreled shotgun, just reskinned. The dull barreled shotgun actually has a little better stats when fully upgraded, but as you guys see, there is no difference in stats almost. This is a very dangerous precedent, and not just for Red Dead, but video games in general. Developers won't feel like adding in new guns and will just say, oh, let's reskin an old gun and pretend it's new. This is why I have never liked the Mark II weapons in GTA, because they're just reskinned with a few new upgrades. Add new weapons, not reskins. And you know, the rare shotgun, you can't even customize it. It's just that. You can't even change the coloring on anything. You can't do rifling on it. Nothing. Just like it is. The other part of this update is the new map blip system. This depends on how you see it. Now, some people like the new change, others don't. It depends on your perspective on the issue. Most players will not appear on your map. You will not be able to see players across the map. However, you will be able to see hostile players across the map. Players who kill other players, they will be displayed. They will appear as red. Other players, you will see as blue who have not killed anyone. They are only appearing if they're close enough to you. However, this system is not perfect because I have been killed by a blue guy for no reason. And then five minutes later, he went from red to blue again. Players who don't like the new system argue it's boring not seeing any other players across the map. I, however, personally like it because it's more realistic as you can bump into other players across the world. You never know when you will see other players and you have a better idea of who's hostile. However, don't think that just because someone is blue, they won't shoot you. Rockstar has listened to players who have addressed griefing issues, so I do think this map is a step in the right direction, but it's largely opinionated because some people like it, others don't. The biggest change in this update is the bounty system, and this system is completely broken and unbalanced. The bounty system has done so much damage to Red Dead Online. A few weeks ago, when this was first announced, I said the bounty system could either be great for the game or game-breaking. The bounty system should have a reward for surviving larger bounties, but it doesn't. When you commit crimes in view of lawmen, you raise your bounty. It doesn't go up insanely quick like in single player, but around 10 to 15 cents for every additional killing. This really stacks up if you kill a lot of people, and once the bounty goes past $10, bounty hunters will spawn at random moments and attack you no matter where you are, you can't loot their bodies, and if you get killed by them, you have to pay the whole bounty in your own cash. You see here, I lost $11 getting killed by them. The only other way to get rid of it is to go to the post office and pay it off, where it's half, but it's still annoying that you have to pay it in the first place. The game is basically extorting you. What's even more annoying is the fact that once your bounty reaches $10, all the strangers who give you missions will refuse to talk to you, even the low honor strangers. I went up to the mountains to try to speak to Flacco after I had a bounty, and even he refused to talk to me, telling me that I had a bounty. You got that bounty, right? Dealing with you is too much of a risk. Pay it off and come back, okay? This makes no sense because Flacco is on the run from the Pinkertons. That's why he's up here on the mountain. He has a huge bounty on himself. He even admits to it. He's a cold-blooded murderer. And yet he's against you working with him because you have a bounty? How does that make any sense? 
but it gets even worse. How? If you kill players, the bounty increases so much. So basically, griefers, if you do run into them, not only will they try to kill you, but you will get a bounty on yourself just for defending yourself. I have gotten attacked by a huge posse for no reason, and I fought back. And before the fight was even over, I was already at a $12 bounty. You should not be racking up bounties for defending yourself. Here you can see my friend. He intentionally shoots me to paint him as the aggressor. The game clearly paints him as the aggressor. He's red. I return fire. I kill him. And my bounty went up by 50 cents for defending myself. This bounty system is so broken, because many missions that you play, you automatically get a wanted level, so you will be getting bounties just for playing missions. This is a disaster, because in the past, players would often run away the second the witnesses would show up, and they would lose the lawmen pretty quickly. Now it doesn't matter. If you run away, you will still get that bounty. So basically, people are going to have to go on mass killing sprees, wasting every witness they see. The bounty that you have isn't even region locked like in single player. But if you get a bounty in Ansberg, you will still have it even if you go to Tumbleweed on the other side of the map. Red Dead Online should have a bounty system, but it should be different than what we have here. I would do it that if you survive for a certain amount of time without dying, you get to keep the bounty money. Maybe if you survive for 48 minutes, one in-game day, you can keep the entire bounty. Or maybe a more hardcore challenge, if you survive one in-game week, you can keep the whole bounty. Also, make it so that high honor players could go after the bounties once they're at a certain height. Not like $10, because that will be way too much PvP, but maybe for like players like over $20, they could go and claim those bounties. This would go give low honor players a new activity to make money. Bounty survivals for low honor players, you know, it would be a nice bounty hunt. It would be a nice activity. It would encourage cool PvP. I think that would be kind of fun. Not what we have here. What we have right now, it's not fun. And it's just broken. How does Flacco, you know, a guy who's a cold-blooded murderer, basically say, yeah, you know what, I can't work with you. You've got a bounty. You know, how does that make any sense? Your missions are locked. It's kind of stupid. The other really bad thing about this update is that hunting is nerfed. Yes, you heard me correctly. Rockstar has once again nerfed the hunting. Certain fish will not be able to pay as much, and people have also told me many exotic birds carry less feathers now. I typically hunt buck, and I noticed that the perfect buck carcass went from $10 to $5. Really? What is the reasoning for this? This, along with the bounty system, is the biggest stab to Red Dead Online's player base. Why on earth would you lower hunting prices? The two main ways to make money in this game are stranger missions and hunting. Stranger missions are now harder to start up if you have a $10 bounty, and now prices on hunting are decreased. When players see this, you know what many players are going to say? They're going to say, that's it, I'm done, I'm not playing anymore. If you make it even harder to make money, more people are going to get off the game. They are essentially destroying their player base. I don't understand why they make these decisions. Fortunately, we do have some good things that came out in this update. The best thing in this update, in my opinion, is that when you die, you will no longer lose pelts and carcasses on your horse. This has bothered so many players, and Rockstar has listened. You can now also fast travel with your pelts, which definitely improves hunting, but they have also hurt it by nerfing its prices. Daily challenges are another addition, however some people already hate them, and I don't blame them. When I first found out they were bringing daily challenges in, I said this would be good as long as the challenges are reasonable. Well, unfortunately, they aren't. Instead of having three objectives like on GTA Online, we have seven. Fortunately, you do get rewarded for each individual one you complete. You don't have to complete all seven to get rewards, but you do get a bonus for completing all seven. You get a .10 gold for each one completed, and you get 200 XP. If you complete all seven, you get 0.40 gold, and I know if you complete it for seven days straight, you get a bigger reward. I don't know what that is at the moment because nobody has really done it because you need to play it for a week straight. The problem here is that many of the objectives, they're too complicated. Just look at some of these. Shoot three players from a moving train, kill players with the Maxim gun. The Maxim gun is mounted and appears very rarely in certain parts of the map. How are you supposed to kill players with that? How are you supposed to kill players from a moving train when it's so hard to find them? And also, you would have to get people to chase you. Sure, you could do it with your friends, but the game expects you to do it with randoms. Another set of daily objectives I got the next day involved me playing three showdown matches. Look, I know what they are trying to do, they want people to play the PvP modes, but three matches is too much. Make it playing one match, like on GTA Online. Also, the other ones, 
find little brown bats and skunks. I didn't even know there was bats in this game, and the animals are something complicated to look for. I tried really hard riding around looking for the bats and the skunks, and I was not able to find them. I even went to specific areas where they are. How about a challenge where you skin five deer and kill one grizzly bear? Not a challenge finding small animals that are more rare. I wasted so much time looking for them that I could have completed missions in the meantime or hunted. There is one daily challenge going around where you need to kill people with the Evans Repeater. This challenge is impossible, as the Evans Repeater is not even in the game, so people that have this challenge can't even complete it. Overall, this update hurts the game more than it helps. The bounty system has broken the game. Even high honor players will get bounties simply for defending themselves from griefers. The bounty follows you from lobby to lobby. Even if you restart your game, you have to pay half of it off at the postman wasting money, or you get jumped by these bounty hunters and you lose it all. The clothes are drip fed, along with the new gun, and the other gun is just a reskin. Emotes are ridiculous prices, and some things you can only pay for in gold bars. Hunting was nerfed, getting you less money. This will drive more players away from the game. They are making their game harder and more of a grind. People will not want to play this, and they'll go play other games. But let me know down below, what do you guys think? I hope I'm wrong, and people don't get off this game. But from what I've seen, this game is much harder than it was a few days ago. You know, I want this game to succeed. I want a good open world Wild West game. I hope it's this game. But, you know, they're taking a step in the wrong direction with this update. They've hurt the game a lot more. I just hope they add some kind of properties. At least I really hope that comes in. Some kind of business, maybe like a moonshine business. Let me know what you guys think down below. And, I mean, are you going to keep playing this game? Are you getting off this game? Let me know down below. I still have hopes that they'll add something in. But if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you're new to my channel, enjoy my content, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.